My name is William Duke. I'm the head eighth grade coach at the Junior Falcon Football Club in Wardsville, Missouri, and I've had the privilege of being a coach there for the last three years. I actually played football through high school in college at Quincy University, and then actually a very small stint with a semi-pro team in Chicago while I was attending medical school there. You might notice the last three letters after my name, DPM, that stands for a doctor of podiatric medicine. During the day I treat foot and ankle problems and at night I have the great privilege of being able to coach young men and women actually. We have a girl on our team with the sport of football. Football is something that I started playing when I was very, very young and like I said fortunately had the ability to continue playing and it's one of the reasons why I actually picked the profession that I'm in. There's not too many sports that don't involve your foot or ankle, and with that, there's injuries that are involved, and it allows me to keep in touch with athletics throughout the day in my day job and at night when I come home. I want to thank Coach Rob for having me here at CoachesClinic.com. I've had the chance to see some of the other presentations, and they were extremely good. I enjoyed watching it, and I think this is a, a fantastic resource for other coaches around this country and across the pond there in the UK to hear us and see what we're doing and kick ideas off one another and just make everybody better. I, I think our goal is to have kids at all age levels, whether they're in kindergarten, first, second, third, playing flag football or have gotten into tackle football in fourth grade and continued it through the high school and maybe the college ranks and allows us to continue to learn. We obviously have all learned through trial and error and, and through things that worked and didn't work We've had situations where we did something at practice and we thought, man, I wish I knew more about that. Kicking and long snapping and some special team stuff is something that I've had a passion for and been able to continue to work with and actually it fits extremely well into what I do during the day because of the lower extremity being involved and whatnot. If everybody can hear me okay, uh, just type yes there in the, the chat box and we're going to get started with the first slide after the introduction and we'll move forward. If you have any questions, do me a favor and just kind of save them to the end, but if there's something you're like, wait, 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 I don't understand, please stop. Uh, I have no problem doing that. And if at the end uh, you get to some more questions, I have my email and my phone number there and you guys can reach out to me and I'd love to talk football and all this stuff with anybody at any time. So let's get started here with slide number one. When I look at kicking for football, I think of four main points. I think of the extra point, the field goal, the kickoff, and punting. A lot of people may group extra point and field goal together. These are two separate things for me, and I like to approach it from that standpoint. Because as we all know, you know that field goal is going to give you more points than that extra point, and we need to pay closer attention to where we are in the field, how the drive is going, what our offense seems to be doing, do they seem to be tired, are they moving the ball really well on third and two, or are you faced with a third and five, you come up two yards short and you're on your 30, and you saw your kid kicking with no pressure around him from the 35 before the game, and now he's going to have 11 angry guys running at him. So I like to separate these two in time and space and place and how well my kids are doing. So I'm going to list this as a separate one. What you're going to find, though, is that from a functional standpoint, from a technique standpoint, from an aggressive standpoint, these are really pretty similar, as well as kickoff, especially for the younger level. When you look at, when I think about kickoff for kids in the fifth grade, the sixth grade, the seventh and eighth, and even into some high school ages, what I start to notice is a deviation of technique from the extra point field goal to the kickoff, and you have a kid who can kick really well from that 10, 11 yard line, and then you get him out to the, the 40, and he's actually kicking shorter, and that's you know, that has a lot to do with what we're doing as coaches, and I've kind of developed some things that I like to do with the kids that I coach to help take some of this problem away. So we're going to separate that one. And then the last one is punting. Punting is something that I was fortunate enough that, you know, growing up, I didn't have big, strong arms that could, I could rocket a football 40 yards down the field, but I had real good, strong legs, and I was able to really kick the ball pretty well. So punting is something near and dear to me because I did that. I was actually physically doing it in the game. I was that kid that, you know, coached me back there when I was a sophomore in high school and said, all right, he's going to snap you the ball. Now I need you to kick it down the field and don't let anybody 
don't let anybody run past you. So being out there experiencing it, I had to go through some trial and errors on my own, and luckily I had a really good coach to help me with that. So punting is something that we're going to hit pretty good and we'll spend some time on. All right, kicking, what are the basics? What do you need to know? What should you know? What, what do you need to break it down into, especially when you're teaching it? From day one, we look at this and we say, what is your alignment? How do you approach the ball? What do you do when your foot hits the ball? We call this striking the ball. What should your follow-through position be? Where should the ball be positioned? I have a little tidbits there on the slides. You can look at those. But, you know, things differ. And you wouldn't think that a one-inch tee and a two-inch tee would be that different. But when you set that ball in that two-inch tee, it looks a lot higher to that young man or young woman who's standing back there getting ready to kick the ball. And their approach, their alignment, all these things will change a little bit when they go to strike that ball and try and put it through the uprights. You know, you ever see a smile on a kid's face when he kicks a field goal or an extra point for the first time? You want to put him in the best position you can, and alignment and approach are key to that so that he can have that smile. 